Alright, hey guys, here we are on DCS Black Shark, and this tutorial will be teaching you how to get into a hover so you can engage shit and do whatever you like. Alright, so what we're going to be using is the uh, autopilot to maintain this using the auto hover function. Creatively named, I know. So, um,. Really what we're using is just the collective, the cyclic, and our handy dandy autopilot panel. Uh, just the bank hold, pitch hold, heading hold, and we're going to use the altitude hold. Which usually isn't you know, entirely useful, but today it is. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to slow down. And what I'm going to do to do that is I'm going to pull back on the cyclic and then I'm going to decrease the collective. Uh, this way I can uh, slow down while not gaining too much altitude. Uh, it's important to note that uh, once you start slowing down, you bring the collective back up to at least 50%. Um, otherwise you'll get into a self-created vortex that pushes the uh, helicopter down towards the ground. And you don't want to do that because that sucks. So keep rotor RPM high when you are at uh, slow speeds. See? I'm in that vortex. What I gotta do is push forward. Keep reflected. That medium. And there we go. I'm at steady flight again. Now we're gonna do that one more time. Try not to go hard. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the trim using the T button on my keyboard or button number 3 on my joystick. And then I'm going to keep making minor adjustments um, with the cyclic. Uh, now that my speed's pretty low and I'm at a constant uh, altitude, I'm going to hit Alt and T at the same time. I'm going to let go of everything and it's going to do the rest for me. It's really that simple. And as long as we're up here, we'll uh, make this cockpit nice and sexy by getting some backlighting in here. Isn't that nice? And then we'll get some night vision lighting that we can turn on. Now it's all bright and fun to use. Enjoy.